Hey, welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of what a derivative is. And then in the next several videos after that, we're going to go into the detail of each of these things here that we're going to be talking about in this video. A derivative is a mysterious thing. Most students that first start taking calculus, they just go ahead and start doing the problems. And all along, they really don't have a good understanding of what a derivative actually is, what they're actually doing, and what it really means. And so what I'm trying to do here is take the mystery out of what a derivative is. And unfortunately, there's a lot of different ways in which you could look at a derivative, a lot of different ways in which you could explain what a derivative is, and maybe that's why it seems so mysterious, so strange. But hopefully after you watch this video and the ones that come after that, you might have a better understanding of what a derivative is. So let's go and do a quick overview of, what, of, of how we may be able to look at what a derivative is. So the first thing we can do is, let's say we have a straight line. Of course, the equation uh, that uh, uses a straight line is equal to y equals mx plus b. You know that that's the general equation of a straight line. And m is the slope of that line. And it turns out that the slope of a straight line function like that is indeed the derivative. So the derivative in this case is simply the slope of a graph. And in this case, the example I use is a straight line graph. So it's the ratio of dy, the change in y over the change in x, which is the slope. And the slope is indeed the derivative of that function. So in that case, the derivative is the slope of that straight line. Another way you can look at it is, let's say that you have a curve. Instead of ha having a function that's a straight line, you have a function that is represented by a curve on an xy graph. Well, notice that the slope of a tangent line is also the derivative of that function. Now, notice that if I take the slope over at this point, it will look like that. But if I take the slope at this point, the slope will be like this. If I take the slope there, the slope will be like that. In each case, that slope is the derivative of that function. But notice that since the slope changes, that means also the derivative changes. It has a different value at different points along that curve. Again. Remember that it looks like the derivative is simply the slope of that function. In this case, the slope changes. Here, when you have a straight line, the slope is the same everywhere along the function. Another way in which we can look at a derivative is we can, take, we can use algebra. And we use what we call the limit equation. The limit, as delta x approaches 0, it's equal to the function evaluated at some point. Then the function evaluated at some point a little bit further away from it and then dividing that, the difference between those two, by the change in the x, the change in the variable x. That there is the, deriv is the quintessential definition of what a derivative is. So this equation also describes a derivative, but again, notice that this represents the change in y, that represents the change in x, and we go right back to over here, it's the ratio of the change in y divided by the change in x, this is the change in y divided by the change in x, and again, that defines a derivative. Another way in which we can look at a derivative over here is taking a look at that and say it's the rate of change of a function. It explains how fast a function is changing. So a derivative really describes how fast a, a function changes. If the function changes very slowly, the derivative is small. If the function changes quickly, then the derivative is large. So derivative is simply a description of how fast a function is changing or how much a function is changing. Here, another way of looking at it, it's re remember when you graph a function, you have what we would call an independent variable and a dependent variable. Here we have the variable x, so this would be the x-axis. Here we have the variable y, and so x would be considered the independent variable y is called the dependent variable. The value for y depends upon the value for x. You change the value of x, you get a different value for y. So a derivative tells you how fast the dependent variable is changing when you make a change to the independent variable. So how fast is the dependent variable changing when the independent variable changes? That ratio, that definition, is also a good way of looking at a derivative. It simply describes how fast the dependent variable changes when the independent variable changes. So when the independent variable changes a little bit and the dependent variable changes a lot, you have a large derivative. If the independent variable changes a little bit and the dependent variable changes a little bit also, then you have a small derivative. So that's another way of looking at a derivative. Another way of looking at a derivative is that it's a function in itself. 
A derivative, quite often, is not just a number, but it's actually a function. And that function describes how fast the function that it's a derivative of changes. So, wow, that kind of becomes complicated. So, a derivative is a function, and that function describes how the original function changes. Again, the derivative is a description how fast a function changes. And, of course, if that change varies depending upon where you're on the function, then the derivative varies as well, and that variation can be described as a function. So the derivative is a function that describes how fast a function changes. Well, that may sound a little bit complicated, but again, when we start talking about the details of that, and there will be a video on that, it will become quite clear what we mean by that. And finally, what also makes it confusing is the notation of derivatives. As you can see here, I plus plop down four different ways of notating a derivative. We have dy dx, dx dt, y prime, x dot, different ways, and there's more, and I'll show you the other ones. There are all kinds of different ways in which we can write down a description of derivative in a mathematical form. And since there's so many different ways of doing that, it gets very confusing. So we'll go ahead and shoot a video where we show each of these different ways of writing it and what it means. And hopefully, after we use, after you watch all seven videos that come after this, you'll have a much better understanding of what a derivative is. But at least this gives you kind of an overview and hopefully that already gave you some sort of ideas and some sort of explanation, at least some way of looking at derivative. Basically, if it all boils down to one thing, a derivative is simply, hmm, the best way is maybe number four, it's the rate of change of the function. How fast is the function changing? And by that is probably a, the best definition of what a derivative is.